Hi, everybody. Very good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcoming all our international leaders, students, and teachers on this international platform. We are on live session right now, and I'm very much. Introduction first, and then we will go for the question rounds. Hi. So we are in a recording session right now, as you can see all. So I hope you will introduce session you can fill it up as your own way and then we will go for question round session shanaya are you fine and pieces sir i hope all you can hear me yes okay so first of all i would like to welcome you all in today's session and this moment uh, this is 5 11 p.m. from Dhaka, Bangladesh. We have connected on this international platform and this is Sunday, 13th June. So first of all, I would like to go to Diksha and Dina. How are you? And can you please introduce yourself? Diksha and Dina from Shalom International School. I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. Please introduce yourself, Diksha and Dina, both sisters, right? Yes, yes. Good evening, everyone. Okay, My name is... My name is Diksha Digole. I'm studying in 10th standard from Shalom International School. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Dina Digole. I'm, uh, I'm in 6th standard and I'm studying in Shalom International School. Okay. You are all from India, right? Two sisters? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. So I'm now going to connect Neha and Viviani Singh from another two students, Shalom International School, India. So can we hear from you, Neha and Viviani? How are you today? Good. Good evening to one and all present over here. It's my great honor to speak on this platform. My name is Diviani Arjun Singh. I'm in class 10 ICC. I'm studying in Shalom International School. Thank you. Thank you so much. Meghna, can we hear from you from India, Shalom International School? How are you today? Yeah, yeah I'm doing great today. And good evening, one and all present over here. It's uh, my pleasure that you gave me the opportunity to speak. Uh, I'm from Shalom International School and I'm in 11th standard right now. Okay, nice meeting you. And I'm going to connect Ashutosh Singh from India, Shalom International School. How are you, Ashutosh? Can you introduce yourself, please? I'm good. Uh, my name is Ashutosh Singh, and I'm studying class 8, and I'm from Shalom International School and Junior College. Thank you so much. I'm connecting Ms. Shanaya Singh from Kolkata. How are you, Shanaya? Can you introduce yourself? Can you please tell us yourself? Hello everyone, Namaste. I'm your friend Shanaya Singh from Kolkata. I'm seven years old. I study in Mahadevi Bala World Academy, Kolkata. I am the youngest storyteller in the world. My name has entered the International Book of Records, Asia Book of Records, India Book of Records, and America Book of Records. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Such a great introduction from Shanaya Singh from Kolkata. She is an angel. She is already have so many records in her hand. Thank oh, you, yeah. Shanaya, for joining us. Now I would like to listen from Orun Kumar Sharma. How are you today, sir? Can we listen from you? I'm fine. My greetings to all the participants, students, my blessings and good wishes. And this uh, seminar, I am sure will enlighten their thought process. They will start thinking about their future, their prospect, their expectation, and their ambitions more particularly. Okay, great. Great to listen from you, sir, international leader from India. So uh, we see that uh, we have uh, David, sir, from USA with us. David, sir, can you hear us, please? 
David sir, can you hear us? Uh, I think there is some issue with his connection. I think and he will be reconnecting again. I think we are all on live. And as you can see on WhatsApp, we have shared our live picture already. So I am very much happy that we are all connected together internationally, globally. So I am hoping that we all can see international leaders upcoming future progressive future leaders, those who are with us, and I'm believing you a lot. So can we please start today's question and round session? Are you guys all ready, Kindly? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Are. So first of all, I would like to listen yes, from yes, our dearest angel, Miss Shania Singh from Kolkata. The, my first question to you, Shania, how do you want to see yourself in the future? Shania Singh from Kolkata. Shania, can you please tell us? I want to be myself in future to be a successful storyteller, teacher, author, and most importantly, a good human being. Mashallah, Mashallah. I'm so delighted. Ashutosh. Tell me about your dream. How you want to see yourself in the future, Ashutosh Singh, Mumbai. Uh, Ashutosh Singh, can you hear us? I think his line has been paused. Meghna, can you tell us about your future sure. dream? How you want to see yourself, sure, Meghna? Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. So I just want to, I want to be, a, you know, a person, a social worker for all the people. I want to just serve for my country. I want to see everyone, like the people who are suffering now. I means now I think that, so I can't see that. And now when I'll uh, get over it, means like when I'll complete my dreams. So I just I just don't want that all things to repeat. I means like from my side, I want to give 100%. Okay, you. thank you. Ashutosh, can you tell us how you want to see yourself in the future, Ashutosh from Mumbai? I want to see myself in the future as a successful person, as a successful orthopedist who should save the people and save a peaceful and live a peaceful life. And I want these skills in my future. I should be knowledgeable about bone, muscles, joints, tendons and ligaments. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I want to know about uh, Neha and Divani. How about you? How do you want to see yourself? Neha and Divani from India, Mumbai. As a student, I want to see myself as a successful doctor, but I just don't want to work only for earning, but also want to help others to overcome their cancer. I also want to help the poor children to live a better life in a society. I want to see a successful CA in my future. I want to take my business to the next to the world. Next world. Thank you. Okay, so Diksha and Dina, can you tell us how you want to see yourself? Diksha and Dina. Diksha and Dina, can you hear us? I think we will reconnect. Uh, Diksha and Dina, can you hear us? Yes, 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 we can. Okay, my first question to you is how you want to see yourself in the future? <laughs> Ma'am, I want to uh, see myself as a successful gynecologist and uh, first of all, I want to see myself as a very nice human being and a successful gynecologist. How about, how about the other person? I want to, I want to see myself full of opportunities, like I want to do something for the people, I want to serve my nation, I want to become an anchor of a pilot. That's all. Okay. Okay. So, can we hear our Orun Sharma sir? How you want to see our student in the future, Orun Kumar Sharma? Basic thing is this: that one should have a dream, and unless you have a dream, at right from the beginning, because I have seen students. In the earlier years, when the metric and higher secondary stream was there, many a people who did not decide where we, they want to see themselves 
five years hence or ten years hence or uh, in a mature life, a, a picture about themselves. So they were confused whether to go in for science stream or commerce stream or arts stream. So it is a tragedy, rather a pity. Though it is very nice to hear the young girls and boys to listen that they have got certain ambition, certain perception and direction where they want to launch themselves. So it's very good. Second thing, there is, goes a saying that is standing on the boat boys, gazing at the sky. How can you succeed boys if you never try? So pursue your goal, pursue your ambition wholeheartedly and definitely sky is the limit. The future is yours. Thank you so much, Arun Kumar Sharma. There was so much enthusiastic, spiritful. We can hear the future leaders' voice also with us. So, guys, I am moving on to our next topic. That is question number two. What is your biggest dream to achieve? I want to ask Shania. What is your biggest dream to achieve, dearest Angel, an international leader? Yeah. My biggest dream is to spread reading culture and knowledge in children. I want to make this planet a better place by my storytelling. Okay, thank you, Shania, for your great speech. So I would like to connect uh, Ashutosh. I want to know that what is your biggest dream to achieve, Ashutosh, from Mumbai? My biggest dream to be able to take care of my family financially and physically. I mean, my parents. When I grew up, they took care of me and my dreams. So my parents did everything they could give me to a good life. So my dream is to live a peaceful life with my parents. Okay, great. So can we hear our next participant, Neha and Divyani from Mumbai? Can we hear from you, please? Yes, my biggest dream to achieve is to keep my family safe and happy, as well as to stand for the people as a good supporter and a leader, as well as spread happiness and positivity among the people and stand as a role model in the society. My biggest right. dream is to take care of my family as well as I want role model for others. Great. How about Diksha and Dina? Panchgani. Yes. My biggest dream is to do something for the people around me. I want to do something for the nation by serving it or by protecting it from those wrongdoings, from cleaning the country from its corruption which is going on that's all uh, my biggest dream is to uh, open a charity home for those poor and needy people so wow uh, so i want wow. to actually open a charity home for them great 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 contribution megna can we please hear about your biggest dream? How you want to achieve and what is your biggest, biggest dream that you want to achieve, please, make now. Yeah, actually my biggest dream is the to complete the degree of MS and MD. I want to uh, put organizations of my own and for free, I want to give it for the poor peoples. And the second thing, of course, my, means like uh, to be a successful person and like uh, to show the world that I can do something for, yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Great to hear from you, Meghna. Arun Kumar Sharma, how do you feel about their biggest dream? Well, uh, if conviction is there, a burning desire is there, and they have decided unilaterally focus on that particular dream, they are sure to succeed. Because in life, distractions are always there. Shortcomings will always be there. Life is not a bed of roses. Difficulties will come. Impediments will come. But if your motives are clear, your aim is clear, and you pursue in spite of that, because success is always achieved after failures, 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 but ultimately you win. 
Abraham Lincoln failed numerous times. He was very, very unsuccessful in the earlier career on whatever as assignment he took. But ultimately, he followed it, he pursued it, and he became the president of USA. The same way there are numerous examples. So you must stick to it, whatever is dearest to your heart. And if you pursue that wholeheartedly, you are bound to succeed. Nothing to stop. Help is there. If Because no river knows how it will proceed. But when the river starts, then it, the water finds its way. It is the nature. So if you are strong in your mission, then all the universe will conspire to help you and make you succeed. Okay. Thank you so much. Such a great speech from Arun Kumar Sharma from Asham. So now I am moving forward to the question number three. What is your responsibility for your nationality? Shanaya Singh from, from Kolkata. Shanaya. I think Mr. Shania. David had joined. Yeah, yeah. Shanaya. Question number three, please. What is your responsibility for your nationality? My responsibility is to make my country proud by my storytelling. Thank you. Great. So I'm moving forward. Okay. So Ashutosh, can you tell us about your responsibility to your nationality, please? Ashutosh from Mumbai. My responsibility for my nation are uh, national flag and national anthem. I will respect and obey the laws of our country. I should enjoy rights and freedoms under under the limit without interfering with freedom and rights of others. I will be ready to protect our country whenever required. These all are my responsibilities for my nation. Great. How about Meghna? How you would like to speak about your responsibility towards your nationality, Meghna? Uh, yeah, I just never want to differentiate between the caste uh, mm. when the patient comes, caste system and wealth. Mm. And uh, even I want to help the people, people with the free, uh, free means like mm. medical mm. and the uh, sanitizing thing and everything. Mm. Mr. David. Hello. Hello. Yes. yes, Mr. David, do you want to speak to us? Mr. David. Mr. David from USA, do you want to speak to us? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, so can we uh, hear from Diksha and Dina <laughs> about your responsibility? Yeah, I think we have to hear the answer to that. I'm not clear what David Sard is telling us. Maybe there is some difficulty to understand about his uh, voice or something. So I'm going to Diksha and Dina. Question number three. What is your responsibility for your nationality? It is my responsibility is to be aware what is going around me in my country. Be updated with the new rules, new laws, and to help it. Uh, I want to do something like be a good speaker. You have to start being a good person. You have to follow the rules. It starts from the school, from the basics, and then we go on and on by learning, by helping, add values to the society, speak up for the wrong. That is what I want to do for the country. Thank you. Uh, and Dina? Uh, uh, my responsibility for the country is to uh, uh, follow the rules and regulations and help the poor people. That's it. OK. Thank you. Neha and uh, Diviani, how about you? Neha and Diviani. Is it the rules 
also to support the decisions of the government, not to stand by it. It is a true decision. We have to stand by the government. As a citizen, we have responsible to follow the fundamental rights and duties, such as voting the right, government paying taxes on time. Uh, voice is not clear, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, Divyani and Neha, uh, who is remaining? Can you please speak? Yeah. As a citizen, we have responsible to follow the fundamental rights and duties, such as voting the right government, paying the taxes on time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. And how about Orun Kumar Sharma? What do you like to say about their responsibilities? Beta, we are living in a free country. And all the nations are free countries, sovereign in their respective arena with under their respective constitution. The constitution gives every citizen freedom to speak, to work and express themselves. But at the same time, the tragedy is this, many people are aware of their rights, but we forget our duties and responsibilities. That is the great tragic part. Everybody must be right from the initial stage, have elementary idea about the constitution of their nation, the salient features, the rights interested and the obligations of the duties, limitations. For example, I just uh, want to take uh, half a minute, but I have got every right to buy a, a music system or a vehicle and I can play it. But at the same time, I have freedom to buy, I have freedom to listen, I have freedom to uh, drive the car, but I do not have the freedom there is a limitation if somebody is sick next door then and if they are disturbed with my loud playing of the music system so there it my rights are restricted the same way somebody's authority must not affect the right of others so this is the basic thing and similarly we must become a law abiding citizen for that we have to build our character and also inculcate the spirit of the nationalism, allegiance to our respective national flags, national policies. And if we have the little bit idea about that, when you grow up, when you come into work field, then the aspect of taxation and all these things come into picture. But first and foremost, be a nice human being kind-hearted person, loving person, helping attitude. Always try to have help it, helping, extend your helping hand to whosoever, in whatever manner you can. That is the first step in character building. Be kind, be helpful, and be compassionate. That, that is all I want to convey. Okay. Thanks a lot for our dearest Orun Kumar. Uh, so this is our time to take a break. So after the break, we will reconnect again. So please uh, stay on. I'm sending you the link again. So after the five minute session, after the break, because a lot of participants are missing, I'm contacting them. And after five minutes, we will reconnect again. Is that fine with all? Please allow yes, us yes. others also because they are yes. facing difficulty. Urun Kumar Sharma, thanks for uh, joining us. Shanaya, after five minutes break, I will connect you. Meghna, Ashutosh, Diksha, and Dina, Neha, Divyani. Please reconnect again after five minutes. I'm sending you the link again on, in our WhatsApp group. And uh, by this time, you can check our photos and uh, our videos, live videos, live. Yeah. This session will be shared soon with with our group, with Facebook, with YouTube, internationally, we're gonna recognize you, inshallah, by today. Thanks, please stay with us. Great to see you all. I'm meeting you after short break. Thank you, bye-bye.